Okay, so principles are the same. He's touching me with the gun. I take my quick look. I want to see that there's nothing in that hand. I can't see what's here. This could be a gun, it could be a knife, it could be a stick, it could be a bottle, it could be his fingers. What I want to make sure it's not is this. I go to make this defense now and the gun is there, I've got a problem. So in this case, I would want to do something else. So I get my quick look, I see this hand is free. Redirect, control, attack, take away. Hands, body, feet. Hands move first, almost like I'm brushing lint. Body moves second, I turn my shoulder. Almost like I'm turning to talk to him. My feet haven't moved yet. Feet move last. For my feet to move, everything has to move. So that's the slowest thing I can do. Keep in mind, I'm not trying to beat the trigger pull. I'm not trying to beat Andre from pulling the trigger. I'm trying to beat Andre from recognizing my movement and then responding to it. If I'm, just, if I'm trying to race that, I'll never win. I'm trying to race the moment in time that he recognizes I'm making a defense and then his brain tells him to respond. So the bigger movements I make, the faster all that stuff happens. Hands, body, feet, I make my redirection. Again, I bladed my body, I made me the target smaller. Now I gotta get my feet moving because for sure, just like we talked about with Brad, Dre's gonna pull the gun back. He's gonna want that gun. So if my feet don't move and I just try to go here to the wrist, I'm gonna miss. So as opposed to that, as soon as I'm out of the line of fire, I'm gonna get my feet moving. I wanna burst in on Andre. I'm gonna to look to control with both hands, both arms. I'm getting at the shoulder and I'm getting at the wrist as best I can. As close to simultaneously as possible, as I burst in to get this control, I'm also gonna burst in and throw a knee. So I'm kneeing to the groin, Maybe I throw another kick. My transition here, I want to go handcuff principle. No gaps, leaks, spaces in here. I want to lock this down. Dre's bigger and stronger than I am. He's going to be pulling. If I give him any space here at all, he'll get the gun back. But if Dre pulls, he's going to pull me all over the place. But the gun's not coming out. The only way the gun should come out is if Dre drops the gun, which is very likely. Redirect, control, attack. Now for my takeaway, I'm gonna rock my shoulder forward. What this does is it keeps me from having to turn my body like this and give up my back to get to the gun. By rocking my shoulder forward, I can stay live side to Dre, I can see what's going on, I can go back to counterattacking if I need to. I go pinky side up, I reach. Break the gun down, again working against his trigger finger. Take it away. Counter, make space, get out. Um, more traditional Krav Maga, what we see most often is off of the redirection here, I'm gonna reach this arm really deep, and now I get my feet moving, and we go straight to single arm wrist control. At the same time, instead of the knee, we would throw an elbow here. The problem with this is under stress, almost without fail, people go straight for the wrist here. So if I go straight for the wrist and Drake pulls the gun away, I'm not gonna have anything. So we eliminate this problem by bursting in with both arms. So as Drake pulls the gun away, he can pull it straight back, he can pull it out like this. I'm getting here. My emphasis is on getting deep and getting two on one, just like we got two on one here. Two on one here. Simultaneous counter is kicked to the uh, groin as opposed to the elbow. This is gun from behind, touching, movement to the live side now. If I make movement to the dead side, which is outside of Andre's elbows, still redirect. Still bursting with my feet, now the control is gonna be underneath the shoulder, underneath the wrist. It's that same Russian arm that we looked at in our wrestling drills. Once I'm outside here, I wanna fill this gap with my head. Boom. Keep in mind, I was head bite. I'm looking to make contact on the jaw, side of the neck, collarbone, whatever I can get. So, I go outside the elbows, dead side, redirect, 
Control, boom. Hit with the head, I can knee, I can kick from here. Now again, I transition, single hand. Continue with combatives, make space and get out. Traditional Krama guy, even from the outside here, we would go deep with this arm, slide to the wrist, punch over the top. Our modification is instead of going to the wrist only, we're going to the wrist and the shoulder, getting the entire arm, headbutting, counterattacking, making the takeaway. Gun from behind, touching. 